Anavar for men. Men out there, can you run an Anavar by itself? Anavar is still one of the most versatile PEDs out there. What are some of the uses for Anavar within the medical industry and then how can it be applicable for athletic performance? Well, within the medical industry, we utilize it for things such as burn victims to healing skin, all the way down to sparing muscle tissue from muscle wasting diseases. That's how effective it is at increasing muscle protein synthesis. Yes, this means that you need less than probably the numbers that you're hearing. But hold on tight, we'll get to that in a second. In the medical world, we see it scripted up to 120 milligrams per day. Yes, per day, not per week. Most likely that would be scripted to a burn victim who literally needs to heal their skin. Now notice how we keep talking about skin and the increase in collagen synthesis, which is a unique property that Anavar is super effective at repairing soft tissue. One of the uses within the athletic world is actually repairing things like tendons and ligaments when your joints are getting achy and you're really starting to push a lot of weight. Maybe an amazing use for implementation. One of the best uses for it is going to be when you're in a cutting phase. Why is it so useful in a cutting phase? Well, we were talking about sparing muscle tissue before from muscle wasting diseases. It's extremely effective at increasing muscle protein synthesis. So when you're dieting down and your carbs and fats are getting low, and your body's wanting to resort to potentially burning the muscle tissue because you're doing so much cardio and your calories are so deep, it's going to do a really great job at increasing muscle protein synthesis and recovering that muscle tissue and preventing the wasting of the tissue. Now, what are some of the dosings that you see within the athletic world? Well, crazy enough is it ranges anywhere from 25 milligrams with a male all the way up to sometimes you see 100, I've even seen up to 200 milligrams per day, which I can tell you is not needed. Really effective doses that I see when it's true pharmaceutical grade, 25 milligrams, you basically get no side effects. And a lot of the benefits, such as freeing up your thyroid hormone, which is gonna be amazing in eating in a fat loss phase. Not only that, but it will reduce down sex hormone binding globulin, freeing up more testosterone. Now, that brings us to a side effect. One of the side effects of taking exogenous hormones is it will reduce down your natural production of hormones this includes testosterone this is one of the major reasons why you do not want to run anavar without testosterone in conjunction anavar will still down regulate your hpta or hypothalamic pituitary testicle axis way meaning it does disrupt the talking from your testicles to your brain on producing hormones. Testosterone is still an amazing compound for building muscle tissue. In fact, potentially the best. This is one of the reasons why implementing an Anavar with testosterone replacement therapy in the mix makes sense. However, implementing Anavar by itself might not make sense. The max effective dosage that I personally see with Anavar is 50 milligrams. 25 milligrams, however, is extremely effective and you probably won't see side effects coming with it. Anavar can speed up hair loss, so if you're genetically prone, any type of androgen can speed up hair loss. It's not just one in particular. If you're trying to work around Anavar, reducing down your natural hormones, thinking that you're going to take a testosterone booster and that's going to do the trick, I hate to say it, it's not going to do enough. If you're trying to fight pharmaceuticals with natural supplements, and those are direct hormones that you're taking. I did want to include within the bodybuilding space, Anavar is not as commonly used as most people think. There are a lot more potent PEDs out there that are taken. However, it is still a very effective one. The biggest practical application would be in an off season or maybe even on season when your joints are getting achy and you really need to recover either tendons or ligaments while you're getting ready for a show or doing a heavy push phase and your tendons and ligaments are having a hard time keeping up. I would highly recommend not running Anavar indefinitely because Anavar is a 17 alkylated steroid, meaning it is still hepatoxic or liver toxic. While you're running Anavar, I highly recommend running Injunction, Tudka, as well as NAC. Those are still the two kings for sparing your liver.